Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps and today we're talking about permissions uh, for apps. So when you install an app, it requires certain permissions like access to your camera, access to your phone, well, yeah, your phone, like your calling access, even SMS for example. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can access and control that. So for example, let's look at Facebook if we or even Instagram. We And I discussed this in the previous videos specifically for these apps. When you take a picture with Instagram, it needs access to your camera, right? But when you record a video with Instagram, it needs to record your voice as well as the audio, a video, right? Video and audio, right? So it needs access or permissions to the microphone, to the camera. If it's going to store a file, like an image, it needs access to your file system. In the case of iPhone, it requires access to your photo gallery. So how can we control these things? So let's have a quick look. So if we go to app, so if we go to apps, like here and we let's pick facebook right because it's the easiest example i have uh coinbase no thank you facebook okay so if we go to facebook we can see the app info now on android it's uh settings apps on samsung devices and some devices will be applications it's the same thing right so if you go here look you can see storage data blah -de blah -de blah how much memory is being taken up notifications are allowed and you look at permissions permission so if you go to permission now Facebook requires access to your calendar potentially your camera contacts your location and this is when you want to do a check-in for example if you want to do a check-in on Facebook say oh, yeah 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 I'm at this restaurant or I'm in this country that's location privileges right so you can actually turn that off microphone SMS why does it need SMS please someone tell me telephone it's already disabled so maybe it's it's the app has the telephone privilege but it's not enabled automatically by default but storage storage to store files to store images and pictures you take within Facebook now what I tend to do is if I take a picture for Facebook I take it using my normal camera um, app rather than the Facebook camera app right the, the app that's built into Facebook I just use the normal camera why um, so I don't need to give Facebook privileges to my camera or my microphone and you see when I am um, when I turned on um when I turned on camera, it actually did turn on my microphone, I think, or maybe I touched it. So here you can control a specific permission for the app, for any app. No, thank you. Okay. So here we can say we don't want Facebook to access my camera. I don't want Facebook to also access my microphone. Location, okay, I like to check in now and again. That's fine. I'll leave that on. Um, and you could do that with any app. So let's try another one. So let's try oh Facebook services. What's that? Um, what can we try? Let's browse through this list and see what we've got. We could probably try Instagram is very similar to Facebook, for example. So if we go to permissions on here, you can see it's very similar in Instagram. So you can see permissions for location to access my location, permissions to access my microphone are disabled because I don't want it listening to me. Because people have been saying that it's listening to Instagram and Facebook are listening to uh, my conversations to give me the best ads even when the phone is on the table and you're not using it so just in case I've turned the mic off please don't listen to me thank you very much um, and lots of apps what they do now is they'll ask you when you install them they'll say um, knowledge let's look at knowledge is power which is a pretty good game by the way a good laugh with your friends um, so hey look knowledge is power requires access to your camera phone your camera phone your camera your microphone and potentially your storage which are disabled and the camera is enabled so you can say all right why do why do these apps require permission to these things and if you don't if you're not comfortable with that let's look at linkedin actually linkedin oh not this one so if we look at linkedin permissions to contacts so look at this linkedin requires permission to contacts which is enabled um, it also has potential for camera microphone storage so you can see all the permissions that each of these apps require and you can control them depending on your requirements. So you can turn off the camera, you can turn off the mic. Um, and remember, the way to do that is to go to uh, settings on Android, um, settings on Android, and then apps or applications, depending on your device type. So in this case, it's a Samsung. So you can see, let's see what photos needs. Photos well, should be straightforward, actually. It should require permissions to camera, contacts. Why does photos need permission to contacts? That's a bit of an odd one, right? Maybe he's trying to assign names to images and faces and stuff. Uh, so it's weird, right? When you go through this, you're like, why does photos need access to... Turn that off, man. I don't want to give it access to contacts. Why? Storage? Okay, because when you take a picture or you're accessing photos in the file system, it requires access to storage. It makes sense, right? 
So just you can run through all of your apps, well, the ones that you think are risky and decide um, what permissions you want to give them and what permissions you don't want to give them. So just like I said, enable the mic, disable the mic, enable the camera, enable location settings. We will try and do a specific video for location privileges um, and how Google and uh, Apple may track your location based on where you are going with your device. Remember, GPS is on all the time unless you turn that off. So location requires uh, specific attention and a specific video probably. But there you go. Take control of your phone. Take control of what apps access what features of your phone. And, um, you know, be vigilant. Be vigilant. There you go, people. Thanks for watching. Sub the channel. Any questions, hit me up. I'm, le I'm learning this stuff as I go along. So maybe I said a few things that are not 100%. But, you know, feel free to comment. And I'll try and respond. Uh, sub the channel, like the videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.